Hey, what's up you guys? Today I want to make a quick video about how I reskin apps in 2019. As many of you guys know, um, reskinning apps has kind of changed over the past year. I've talked about it a little bit in some of my videos, but a lot of you want to know more. Um, a lot of people have been asking, is reskinning apps still worth it? Uh, can you still make money reskinning apps? And if I still reskin apps? and I'm going to ask, answer all those questions today. Um, so first of all, I want to start off with the changes that have happened recently. So over the past year, Apple has really started to crack down on reskinned apps. Um, basically, they're just removing any applications or rejecting applications outright that are similar to other applications. A lot of the times they're completely wrong um, and they just give you no explanation and the review team is pretty horrible at this point. Um, so that has caused a lot of problems for me and a lot of other people doing uh, app reskinning. So that is probably the biggest concern at this moment. Um, it's kind of hard to get apps out sometimes, especially if you were reskinning previously. They kind of like flagged your account and then just report or basically reject all the apps you submit and eventually remove you uh, from your Apple developer account. So. I've had actually one Apple developer account be completely banned because of this. Um, but anyway, another thing that is happening right now is that Flippa is going through a ton of changes, um, basically making their platform harder for people to sell on, uh, unless you're selling like some big million dollar website or company or app or something. Basically, now you need to pay a monthly fee to even use the site and sell, um, which is pretty expensive I think and additionally they take a large percentage from your sale um, their add-ons cost a lot of money and there's not that many people searching for like the smaller stuff now they kind of change like their whole audience of the um, website plus they're not really making many updates their website is getting pretty old uh, doesn't look new it's not the easiest to use so that is another problem that reskinners are facing and before now, there's not been anything else that you can sell on. Uh, but as I told you guys in my last video, I'm creating a new platform called Bitpex. Uh, I talk about it in my previous video, so I'm not going to explain that much more about it right now. Basically, you can go to bitpex.com right now and sign up for the closed beta, and that will um, give you a special badge to show that you were in on Bitpex early. And, um, Basically, we're going to have free listings on there and just a 10% uh, success fee. And that is all with a much more modern design, a lot easier to use, better features. Um, once it releases, I'm going to be doing a full run through of that and a tutorial of how to use it. But anyway, this video is about how reskinning has changed in 2019 and what you can do to combat these changes. So really the first thing, the biggest thing I would say, is um, changing the UI more, uh, like a lot more than previously. Basically before, for a lot of my apps, I would kind of just change color schemes, change app icons, like very minimal things that would be very quick so you could get a lot of reskins out in a very short period of time. But at this point, you're kind of going to have to change the whole UI. Um, completely. So when you're in Xcode, you're gonna have to go on the storyboard, kind of move things around to really make it look different so the Apple team will not flag it as like outright copying something else and you can claim it's actually different. So in addition to changing colors and stuff, you're gonna want to move some stuff around. Uh, what helps me a lot is looking at different Instagram pages for UI design or uh, different UI design websites to kind of get inspired and uh, look at people's designs because it can be hard to come up with so many designs. Um, so those really help a lot. So I would definitely check out some UI design Instagram pages. Um, that has helped me a lot over the past year to do more reskins. Uh, additionally, when you purchase like a template or you create your own, you're going to want to reskin that only three to five times. Uh, any more than that, and they really do catch on, even if you do um, completely change the layout. 
if it's like in the same category of app, they're still kind of going to catch on and start rejecting you, and then your account's going to get flagged. So you don't want to do that. Um, usually, I only rescan an app three times now at most um, because it's just not worth the risk anymore. Uh, so definitely don't be doing like 10 reskins for one app. I don't even think you'll be able to do it at this point anymore. But um, definitely don't even try it because it is very risky. So on that note, you're going to want to do higher quality reskins that will sell for more money now instead of getting a higher quantity. Um, back in the past, I used to do things for the quantity because it was so quick, you could easily get $300 per app do like 10 reskins, make like $3,000 really fast. But now you want to kind of add more value to the reskin that you do, make it a nicer layout, nicer icon, maybe add a feature even if you're able to code and sell it for a higher price point. Because you're only going to be able to sell maybe three of these apps. Um, you're going to want to have a higher price to make up for the lower quantity. Um, so you want to go for apps that can sell for like $500 maybe instead of like $300 so you can make up for the lack of quantity that you have. Um, additionally, because the profits are getting tighter now, you might want to look into creating your own templates and maybe not purchasing expensive ones from Chupa Mobile. I also have my own website that sells templates called Applico Market for only $47, which is a pretty good deal. Um, so definitely look into learning how to code in Swift more because it's getting more and more useful because you might want to make changes to your um, application to add more value and also to change the layout or maybe just create your own template so you don't have to spend money up front and just use your own time to do that and uh, that can actually make you a lot more profit in the long run. And finally, I think a really big thing at this point is to really diversify your app reskinning and your app business in uh, total. Back around like two years ago, I would only do Apple stuff because that's like what I was used to. That's what I learned originally. It was the easiest for me. So I just do iOS reskins or create my own Apple apps, that type of stuff. And over the recent years, since Apple's been getting more strict and uh, their review teams just got in really bad. You kind of have to diversify to like Android apps, which is like Google Play or Amazon apps, um, because those have less strict guidelines and there's a lot of opportunity there too. I have like a whole ebook about how to make money with Amazon apps. It's pretty easy. Um, Android is also pretty easy. They don't really make as much money as the iOS apps on average, but if you do everything together, you can really make some good money um, doing all three. That's what I've been doing, doing some Amazon apps, doing some Google Play apps, doing iOS, and uh, it, it does pretty well. So on top of that, I just want to answer some questions that some people have had. Um, they've been asking me if I'm still reskinning apps, why my Flippa account was suspended, that type of stuff. Um, so my Flippa account was suspended because someone reported me for no reason. They told me I didn't give them an application even though I did. And basically Flippa just suspended my account and told me I had to, what did I have to do? I have to like give them a refund or something even though I gave them the app already. And I did not want to do that so I just took the suspension. Especially because I'm creating my own platform now. I'm not going to be using Flippa anymore. I'm going to be using bid packs only. Um, because it's almost ready and I think it's going to be a lot better than flip up. Uh, to answer the question about am I reskinning apps still, I still am. Not as much as I was doing in the past couple of years because I have been working on bid packs recently and uh, some freelance projects also. But I still am reskinning apps and it's still viable but I've just been putting my effort into other things recently like bid packs which really did take a lot of time because it's a very big platform. Um, so that's the answer to those two questions, and that will probably be it for this video. I hope you guys learned something from this one, because some things have definitely changed in the past year for reskinning apps, and I just wanted to clear that up and help you guys out. Um,
because some of my vid like my past videos are not completely updated. Um, I used to recommend just doing like iOS apps and you know reskidding like ten times per app, but that kind of that stuff has changed, and um, you just have to change with uh, the new rules Apple has or Google or Amazon has. You can't really do anything about it. Just adapt, and you will be fine. There's still a market out there, so definitely keep going, and be sure to check out bid packs and sign up so you can get that badge, and um, I'm looking forward to sharing that platform with you guys. I hope this video helped you guys, and I'll see you next time.